These were valid. These were real arguments. And faith taught Abraham to throw them out. Mm -hmm. he, consi mm -hmm. he considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb. That's right. He just threw them out of the scenario. Mm -hmm. So when you have the promise of God plus faith, it equals hope. Yeah. That's how it adds up. But in order to get hope, you got to throw you got to throw flesh out. Amen. Yes, amen. That's what that's what faith taught Abraham to do. Now Zechariah was stricken dumb because he asked this question: Whereby shall I know this? Mm -hmm. Whereby shall I know this? Now the Lord had already done this in Abraham, mm -hmm. and then Zechariah asked for a sign, and it was not acceptable. You really don't want to make angels mad. <laughs> Jesus said the wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign will be given. They already have a sign in in uh, in Jonah. They already have a sign. So Abraham believed God, and it was credited unto him for righteousness. I want to leave these promises with you. He that shall come will come and will not tarry. That's a promise. What what are you going to do with that promise? Heaven and earth shall pass away. And this mortal must put on immortality. That's right. Amen. These are promises that God has left. Yeah. Amen. Now, well, well, your faith will believe them. Mm -hmm. That's what your faith will do to them. And the Lord will do the same for us as He did for Abraham. When you believe God, it's accounted unto you for righteousness. Amen. 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 Amen.